Hi guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity and I'm in Silhouette Studio today and I wanted to share a tutorial with you on how to use images that are not from the Silhouette store and make them into a print and cut image that you can use for a design element, say for a card or for a sticker or another project that you um, are doing. And so I made this simple little card to sort of demonstrate what I'm talking about. Here's this coffee cup um, on the thank you card that I made up. I'm planning on sending that out for someone who showed us some hospitality recently. Um, this is from Design Bundles and it's called the Watercolor Rain Romance Bundle. Um, it was a free bundle for a little while, but it is now expired. You can still get it on Design Bundles, but it's an image that you would have to purchase. Every now and then I pick up um, some of the free resources that are on Design Bundles and those are 100% no strings attached images that are under their free resources tab and so you can go get those but they do change and so if you want something it pays to download it and um, save it to your computer for future use. The stamp that I used for the card is um, from Simon Says Stamp, Mandy's Flowers and I just kind of kept this um, simple for what I want to use it for and for demonstrating this technique to you. So how do you get those images that you purchase into a format that you can use for print and cut? I'm going to open or let's go to merge and I have the folder here and I'm going to just grab that image and bring it into Silhouette Studio. Now if I go to send, let's go to cut, you can see that it would cut the bounding box but it's not cutting around the image. So let's go back here and let's take a look at why Okay, so we have these points and that's the edge of that image. This is a rectangle with an image in it and we have to remove that background even though it's a transparent background in order to be able to cut this image out as a print and cut. So the first thing we're going to do in order to be able to do that is we're going to open up our trace panel and we're going to select our trace area. Okay, so with my trace panel open, I'm going to select my trace area. And I have my high pass filter off and I'm going to go to my threshold. I'm going to bump this up to 100%, which is going to fill all of this in with yellow and I'm going to go to solid fill and I'm going to trace outer edge. And now we have a trace made of our teacup or our coffee cup, hot cocoa, whatever it happens to be. But if I zoom in here, you can see that my edge isn't quite as clean as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to open up my offset panel and I'm going to go to offset and I'm going to bring down the distance of that new offset line to my original traced out line. And now if I zoom in here, you can see that I can remove that one. And I have a smoother outline to go around my coffee cup. 
But I'm not quite finished yet. If I send this to Silhouette, I still have that transparent background around my image. And so what I want to do is line that up real close to where I want it. But first, there's a little um, mission I want to go on. I'm going to hold down my Alt key, and I'm going to grab this outline and clone it, and just sort of drag it off to the side. And I'll tell you why in a minute. And then let's go back here and line this up. And let's select all of this by dragging over it with our mouse and go to Object, Modify, and Crop. And now you can see that it took that outline away. And if I go into point editing mode by double clicking on that, all of these edit points are close to that coffee cup now. And if I go to my send panel, you can see that I no longer have that um, transparent background. I have an outline around my cup that's ready for doing a print and cut design. So let's go back here. And the reason that I saved my outline here is I wanted to make like a double layer for my print and cut. And so if I send this to the back, you can see that I have a little background for it. And when I glue those together then, after I've cut them out, I have like a um, sort of a chipboard effect and I pop that up on some foam tape on top of my card. And now I can open up my page setup panel, turn on my registration marks, and of course resize these elements to whatever size I need them for my project. And now I'm ready to do my, my print and cut. And that's how easy it is to take those images that you download or purchase outside of the Silhouette store and make them into print and cut images. So if this is something that you've been confused about before, I hope this is helpful to you. I just wanted to add that the SVG file for this card front with the oval elements and the rickrack are available on my blog at sayitwithsimplicity.com. If you go to the free SVG files, um, you'll find it there. And of course, you can add your own papers, um, your own images, whatever you like to do. And that's it for today. I'm glad that you guys stopped by today. It's always encouraging to me to read comments and get feedback on these videos. I'd like to know um, if this was helpful to you. Just drop me a comment in the comments section down below. If there's anything else that you'd like to learn in Silhouette Studio, it's a new year. I have a new computer. I'm working on more videos and I'd always love to hear what it is you're hoping to learn to do in Silhouette Studio sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and be sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified of new content that comes out on Say It With Simplicity. Happy New Year, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now!